The Green Party's raising questions, rather, about whether anything was promised in exchange for the $150,000 given to the National Party by a Chinese-owned company. And it says it's yet another reason to ban political donations from foreigners. In 2016, the National Party got the money from the Inner Mongolia rider horse industry, which is a New Zealand-registered company owned by Chinese billionaire Lang Lin. At the time, National's Todd McClay did meet Mr Lang in his capacity as Trade Minister, but he denies there were any inappropriate discussions about donations at those official meetings. He says in his capacity as a national MP, he had another meeting with Mr Lang, and that's when the financial support was offered, and he says the subsequent donation was legal. Green Party Justice spokesperson Golrez Garaman has a member's bill that would ban all foreign donations and cap political donations at $35,000. She says the system lacks transparency. We find it deeply concerning to hear that a previous minister has uh, travelled, courted foreign big money corporate donations um, that have in fact then been received um, by one of our big political parties, um, putting uh, foreign really big money that New Zealanders, ordinary New Zealanders don't have access to into a political system that should be equal and transparent and um, accessible to, to us all. But, but hasn't the donation been transparent? It's been declared. It's there in black and white. People can see where it came from and how much it was for. So what's not transparent about that? It has been. It, in this case, it has been. There's been previous occasions. Obviously, there's an SFO uh, investigation into another big donation. The problem is our system doesn't require the kind of transparency that we actually want. So it's kind of... Um, a series of, of these stories have now come out over the past year or so where we've actually really realised that we're vulnerable not only to interference by foreign corporates and individuals but also just by big money um, and, and in some cases we don't know. The, what's not transparent about this particular donation is we don't know what was promised. This is exactly why we need to get big money out of our political system because our politicians shouldn't be beholden um, to the interests of big money. So what evidence do you have that anything was promised in exchange for this money? Well, we just don't know. That we, we don't know. And we know that ordinary New Zealanders can't afford to donate this kind of money. So we don't know what interests are, um, are at stake. We know overseas that big oil donates to political parties, which is what's made it really hard to see action on climate change. We know tobacco donations happen. We know that the gun lobby um, has gotten involved and hindered the kind of gun reforms that would keep Americans safe. And we just saw um, the same thing happen. Um, happen so easily in our um, political system. So we would hate for that to be compromised in New Zealand. So you're, in essence, you're concerned about political interference, yet you don't have any proof of political interference when it comes to this donation. Well, New Zealanders shouldn't have to wait and investigate and find proof. The point is that our political system should be fair and equal. It should be accessible to us all equally. So one vote per person. We don't have these kinds of donations that are so outlandish that um, that we then have to wonder whether our politicians would be um, beholden to big money, would be changing their policies, changing um, the way that they do politics in order to appease um, and court big donations. So do you think 150000 dollars buys you what with the National Party because that's what you're inferring, that something's been purchased with this money. Well, we absolutely have no idea. The point is our politicians shouldn't have to um, think about how they're going to get this kind of money into their political um, parties, um, which is why my member's bill would cap any individual uh, donation to $35,000, whether it's to a political party or to a candidate. We would uh, lower the threshold of anonymity to $1,000. Um, at the moment, it's $15,000, um, which actually makes it easier to divide up big donations as well if you wanted to kind of get under the threshold. Uh, it, it's something that we need to do because we know globally that this kind of thing is on the rise and it's actually really damaging to democracy. Have the Greens ever taken a donation from a foreign owned company regardless of the size of that donation? Have you taken any money from foreign owned companies? I don't have access to that information but I don't think so. I don't, I don't have... Um I, d I don't think we have but I don't have all of our historic donation records in front of me. Right. So... <laughs> In terms of this particular donation, you've raised the issue that uh, as a minister, Mr McClay met with the individual that later the company he's involved with makes this donation. So 
he has said in a statement that MFAT representatives were present at the meetings, the official meetings he had with Langlin. Have any of those officials who were present at the meeting told you that there were any untoward discussions about political donations? No, and the issue remains at allegation point, which is exactly what we're calling it, but it actually really highlights the need for better controls, better transparency, better limits to our political donations regime. Um, it's just sort of emblematic of, of what can happen within the law currently. Um, and, you know, he said, you know, this was declared and it was legal. We don't think that it should actually be up to political parties to kind of decide who they take money from and how much, because... It, this is about democracy and we need to regulate that so that all New Zealanders have the same access to their democracy. Is it about that or is it about stemming the flow of cash to parties other than your own? Oh, we, we have donations like any other political party does. We actually have an ethics committee that tells us whether uh, the source of the donation is ethical to Green Kaupapa. It shouldn't be up to us though. This is about bringing New Zealand's democracy um, to, a, to a place where it is accessible to all New Zealanders. It shouldn't be up to individual political parties to decide where this, this amount of money comes from. The, the, it really has the potential to not only undermine democracy, to skew it. And, you know, like I say, in, in terms of the Greens, you know, we are worried that big oil can have an influence on whether a government takes action on climate change, for example. So... To be clear, has Mr Maclay done anything wrong here that you are aware of? Uh, I think there's an allegation there, but I, I can't verify the allegation. Obviously, if a minister uses his position to court uh, donations for his uh, political party on his ministerial trip, that would be a problem, but there isn't... Again, I can't verify that. Do, That's the allegation do you have that any... I can't verify. Do you have any proof that he has used his position as a minister? No, that's to why I'm calling it an donation? allegation. The point is, this is a huge amount of money and it can come into our political system and we need to stop that. So, very briefly before you go, the main thing that you want done then to solve what you see as a big problem? Well, what I would love is if the government adopted uh, the measures that I've proposed in my members' bill, so to cap political donations at $35,000 uh, to make it far more transparent. Uh, leaving out anonymity um, for donations over $1,000 and banning all foreign donations. So do you think that well, there is a problem that you are purchasing democracy with $150,000 but you're not with 35000 we have to have limits, and it is just unacceptable that we don't. 35 brings it to a, to a reasonable uh, limit in, in our eyes, but it's, it, it's about getting the really big, huge amounts of money out. And it's about banning foreign donations, and it's about making the regime transparent. New Zealanders need to know where the money comes from as well, so that's another big issue. When you talk about foreign donations, you obviously classify this donation that's currently under discussion in, in that realm, but the company is registered in New Zealand. It's got skin in the game in terms of the economy and its business interests? I wouldn't... I know that it isn't a foreign donation in terms of being... Able, you are able to bring uh, a donation from a foreign-owned company under New Zealand law through um, a, a company that's registered here that's affiliated with it. That's true. Um, the problem is this whole situation. It's icky. It's not what New Zealanders want in their political system. You don't go overseas and talk to multi-billionaires um, who own companies in New Zealand who can then donate through that regime these sums of money. That's why the suite needs to be implemented together. The limits need to be in place, the transparency needs to be in place, and a ban on foreign donations, which will make it far clearer um, that we don't actually want foreign interference in our democracy.